So Tesla just revealed the Model 2 or the 25,000 vehicle car and drum roll please because this is how it looks like. Bruh. Now I'm just kidding guys, Tesla didn't reveal anything but there is a very juicy article that got posted literally last week and it's extremely juicy and full of information about the Model 2 or the $25,000 vehicle. It's still speculation but real enough for this to be real. It's extremely interesting and really juicy so let's get down to it. All I ask for turn is a like and subscribe. If you haven't already man let's go so this is the article by top electric suv and as you guys can see it's been revealed don't be fooled guys this is only a sketch and a prototype or design or maybe an actual prototype we don't know but this is how it kind of looks like kind of like a hatchback or you know what this prototype or sketch looks a lot more like this but anywho Let's move on. And the article says 25,000 Tesla Model 2 or Model Q proposed in six designs update October 22nd. So literally last week. Some important and juicy bulletin points is most affordable Tesla expected to be a high riding hatchback likely to be designed in China, which could be one of its biggest markets could come with a low cost and long lasting LFP battery pack. And it's expected to be launched after 2025, which in my own prediction, I believe like 2026, 2027 will be mass produced. So seems to be kind of right kind to be you know realistic seems to be realistic let's move on i just want to go ahead and filter some stuff in these paragraphs because if i read this whole entire article here it's gonna be like 30 40 minutes long and we're all gonna get bored and probably end up sleeping so just gonna skip to the juicy parts and the last sentence in the first paragraph it says tesla will launch an electric car with twenty five thousand dollars price this decade and you can bet your ass that they will now as i mentioned in the beginning of this video guys this is a speculation which follows up with this paragraph tesla hasn't revealed the name of this twenty five thousand electric car but the media refers to it as the tesla model 2 or sometimes even the tesla model q which i don't know why they would name it q if you guys know please comment down below i'm curious to know why however the company's co-founder and ceo elon musk admitted to his 2021 annual shareholder meeting that it doesn't plan to use a former for sure he said and i quote model 2 is not a car there is no model 2 but however though until the actual name of the 25,000 tesla model is announced we'll refer it to as a model 2 or model q for easier understanding for our story to be discoverable via search engines so low-key clickbait that's what this article is trying to do clickbait but let's go ahead and move on to the most juiciest and juiciest part so as you guys can see this is how the prototype looks like or potentially could look like i mean it looks like a hatchback it doesn't look that bad but it looks a lot more expensive than a twenty-five thousand car this reminds me a little bit of the porsche i forgot what model it was but it kind of looks like this here's another picture of it of the crossover tesla model 2 another sketch it looks a little ugly i'm not gonna lie but i mean i guess to make it more affordable it could look like that but i highly doubt the model 2 or q or whatever it's gonna be called is gonna look like this this looks a little bit I don't know, it looks a bit weird. And moving on to the juicy part. This part tells us what the Model 2 or Q will have once they become mass produced. When you guys order and get the car, this is the things that could potentially have. Starting with autonomous driving. No duh. Tesla will likely offer the full self-driving pack, Tesla Autopilot, and the affordable Tesla Model 2, bringing the autonomous features to a wide audience. Musk confirmed at the 2020 Battery Day event where he stated the company was confident in making a fully autonomous 25,000 Tesla model in three years, which has seen then changed. I mean, now we're in 2022 going to 2023. We still don't see anything yet, but that's because they're busy with the Model Ys and Model 3. So there's no point on, you know, adding more weight onto your plate. I mean, heck, they even postpone a Cybertruck to next year and the year after for the past couple of few years. So, you know, they're pretty darn busy. If you load yourself too much, you'll never ever hit your demand but if you guys listen to what elon musk had to say in q3 earnings call he mentioned that the model 2 or q or the next generation vehicle which will be around twenty five thousand dollar vehicle is going to happen but maybe in the next three or four years he didn't specify when but i'm guessing the next three to four years because that's going to be the next generation and it seems like tesla to be adding more vehicles to its fleet every two to three years and next one in line is the twenty five thousand dollar one so it's gonna be flipping amazing Sheesh. The platform. On October 19, 2020, during the Tesla Q3 2022 earnings conference call, must offer hints on the entry-level Tesla. <laughs> I just spoke about that. How funny. He said that the future EVs platform will be smaller than the one underpinning the Model 3 and Model Y and cost about half. So $25,000 or potentially even $20,000. So that's absolutely insane. The company will use everything it learned from the development of the platforms underpinning the sexy models, Cybertruck, and the semi-models in developing the new platform nice the chances of it succeeding is much higher than we all think but the most important part here is obviously making the product which is manufacturing 
And this is what the article had to say about that. While the Tesla news sites on the internet speculate on the body style, manufacturing could take place at both Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai and Gigafactory Berlin. Now, I don't know why they would do it in Berlin while they can do it all in China, which will be a whole lot cheaper whole lot cheaper than in Berlin because in Berlin labor costs are a lot higher than in China so doing the model 2 or Q in China makes a whole lot more sense they could probably even price it below 25,000 so I don't know why Berlin but if they could do it for a cheaper price why the heck not but here's the important part and the part that I think is hundred percent right realistic and could become true really really quick during Tesla's Q3 2020 earnings call must indicated that the targeted sales volume exceeds all of its other vehicles combined like that's insane I mean obviously if you're making a car that's half the cost of like model 3 and model Y you're gonna get the most orders but combined from all the other four models and the semis and the Cybertruck, which already has 1 million pre-orders. That's insane. And I quote Elon Musk saying this, it will, I think, swiftly become like shortly exceed the prediction of all our other vehicles combined. Sheesh. But again, guys, if you want to reach the 20 million, if Tesla wants to reach the 20 million vehicles delivery by 2030, they have to do this. They have to have a car below 25,000, 20,000, 18,000, 15,000. If the costs become that low, then they can easily do 20,000, 20 million by 2030. Like that's insane. Now it's very interesting that they put localization here and they talked about it because as you guys can see in the last sentence of the first paragraph, 100% localization will allow the company to price the Model 2 aggressively. So here is talking about China in Shanghai, the factory in Shanghai. I mean, that is absolutely right. If you can't just make the vehicle in one factory, in one place, in one country, you know how much cost? you save you know how much low cost the car will be you know you know how much price you can put it at at the lowest price possible maybe 18,000 16,000 it's not like legacy automakers where they get the you know the door from like Korea and the wheel from the US and the tires from China and you know they get the honk from Sweden or you know the different parts from different parts of the world that's really expensive import tax and one supplier doesn't have the item or the supply chain issues you're really reliant on supply but if you can make the car local in one place in one factory in one country there is no import tax or any importing at all so you don't have to worry about supply Everything is within the country in one factory in one place and we get the lowest cost. If Model 2 is going to be made in Shanghai and localization is 100%, then we can expect to buy this vehicle maybe as low as $15,000. And Tesla would still make a 30% margin on it, which is she's absolutely insane. So that was really interesting that they put this localization here. That's pretty good stuff. Another important part that I want to point out here, again, you can see the picture of the Tesla. It looks very ugly, man. I would not be driving this car if I see it. I mean, it's so tiny. Tesla Model 2 battery. Now, Tesla could offer the Model 2 with a new iron-based battery, which promises long cycle life. Further, the shift from nickel to iron for its future entry-level cars indicates Tesla is keen on lowering the cost of the vehicle. An iron base, which is more abundant than nickel, would mean that Tesla would have fewer supply constraints. See? Again, going back to supply constraints. Tesla does not want to be supply constraint. Look at the other automotive companies. They're having a lot of supply constraints. I mean, they're using that for not delivering vehicles but you know that's one of the excuses that they're using this is what tesla wants to avoid to be supply constraint with his long cycle life the tesla lfp battery would be an integral part of the new entry-level tesla long cycle life is paramount for commercial applications so obviously you know long life battery is very important here if you're gonna buy a car that's like eighteen thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars of course you're not gonna expect it to go 500 miles or 700 600 kilometers per charge most likely it's gonna go around like 200 300 miles and for a small car or a small compact car like that that's actually pretty that's not bad however though i do suspect that tesla once the 4680 batteries are good to go they would put it in this but it will be an option when you guys decide to buy the vehicle but there will also be an option of the lpf battery which will still have a decent range but not as good as the 4680 we feel that tesla may use the lfp battery pack with a 4555 kilowatt total gross energy content that offers a range of around 250 miles so ha, I was right. Enough to make it an affordable and reliable daily driver for urban conditions. And as you guys can see, this is how the sketch looks like. Kind of looks like this. But anyways, the hatchback, it looks okay. This The back looks nice. Honestly, it looks good to me. This actually looks pretty darn decent, the sketch. And here's another sketch of it. Front looks a little bit old, I'm not going to lie. But nonetheless, it's a two-seater too. Huh. 
I just realized this one is a two seater, that one above is a four seater. So many sketches are coming out, it's pretty darn exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Here's the interesting part, although we didn't get too much information from here, but nonetheless, we do get some hints here and there. Tesla Model 2 release date. Tesla doesn't want to disclose the release date of its upcoming EV positioned below the Model 3. Musk said during the company's Q3 2022 earnings conference call, this new electric car is a primary focus of the company's new vehicle development team, he added. So, you already know that if they're focusing on this, they're going to deliver. And I'm saying, again, 2025, 2026, mass produced 2027, we're going to reach like 10 to 12 million vehicles deliveries by like 2028 2027 it's gonna be absolutely bananas but that's what i wanted to show you guys in this video this article was pretty darn juicy if you guys actually find it juicy smash that like button but although this is still speculation there's still not enough information about the model 2 or model q or when the real name comes out it was pretty darn interesting to have a good read. But what is not speculation and what is real is the fact that Tesla is going to be making a $25,000 vehicle car or a cheaper one. It's already in development, they're already looking how to make it and they've got the experience. The only thing is, is where are they going to make it? I'm expecting for them in the next three to six months to announce a new Gigafactory, maybe two Gigafactories. Because in order for them to make cars and the semis, the Cybertrucks, all this, they need more Gigafactories or more upgrades. And I'm talking about heavy duty upgrades. like extending it even more. However though, even though this is behind the curtains, behind the scenes and being worked on and being developed, there's more important things that Tesla needs to do right now. Like for example, obviously hit the delivery numbers, finish FSD, start Cybertruck, do the semis and the Roadster. And then later, once those things are more on a stable line and on a nice stable growth, they can go ahead and start working mass producing the Model 2, Model Q or whatever they're gonna call it. But sheesh, get ready for an affordable Tesla vehicle coming our way. Soon we're all gonna be driving Tesla. Autopilot and we don't have to drive anymore and we can sleep in the car while we're going to work Whew. Anyways, as you guys know, I'm going all into Tesla stock and if you guys want to see what the stock price will be from now to the end of the year Or probably even the next like six months. Well, then check out this video, man We look at what the stock price could hover from now to New Year's as well as we figure out what Q4 will be And what the stock price could potentially stay there as well and if it's a buying opportunity or not So check it out. You won't be disappointed. Check out Submerge, man And don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya